motivated you to become a successful CEO? Well, I'll not say successful CEO. C is just a designation. I should say a successful entrepreneur probably is the right one. I would take it personally. Um, the reason why I started my company was uh, we have been uh, in the armed forces. I'm from the Navy. Um, I was in the Navy. So we have been flying drones bought from Israel. We have aircraft from Germany, Russia. We have 97% of the defense equipment is bought from outside India. And at one point we realized that's not acceptable. For how long? It's been 65 years and we're still using something which is bought from outside. That There has to be somebody who should start from your own country. I mean, you have to reduce the percentage. That was a primary motto. Plus, our dependency is becoming higher by day because of the equipment which we were using from outside India. So we decided, I decided personally, I took it very personal and emotionally that we have to have our own equipment in our armed forces. That was the primary reason I started this company. And of course, freedom of choice is the main thing which made me what I am today. If I was constantly being told again and again what to do, what not to do, I lose my, uh, I should say, path. And if you're working for somebody, if you are uh, depending on somebody, your tomorrow is always decided by somebody else. That was the reason. Okay, sir. So can you please share a <coughs> lesson for the young entrepreneurs so that they can also become successful? Okay, the young entrepreneurs, uh, if they have to become successful, number one, they cannot become Mark Zuckerberg or uh, uh, say Bill Gates overnight because trust me, they are the two examples of accident. Not everybody has got the luck in their favor to become what they are, at least to take off in their early stage of career. You, anybody who wants to become an entrepreneur must understand the management of today, which means they have to work in some company at least for three years. If they don't understand the management, how the modus operandi of an organization is, they will not be able to understand how to handle people. Because entrepreneurship is all about understanding the problem, using people, solve the problem, make money. That's it. It's so simple. You just have to work somewhere to start with and then get a bit of experience and then do not keep money as your priority. If money is your priority, you're a businessman. To bring a change is your priority, you're an entrepreneur. That's the difference between an entrepreneur and a businessman. A businessman works to make more money. An entrepreneur works to bring change in the society. At the same time, he also makes money. So that's what people should understand. So can you suggest a trip, a trick for the Indian students so that they can crack corporate interviews? The trick to crack corporate interviews is very simple. I'll give my example. I have 20 questions for anybody who's coming into my company. They should get eight questions passed out of 20. And all these 20 questions are based on attitude. Attitude, attitude, and just attitude. If your attitude is right, any company will take you. You need to be very clear about what you want to be in life. If somebody is asking you, uh, give, give me one good reason why you want to join my company or this company. When somebody asks you this question, the simple trick of the trade is, before you come to this room to go for the interview, you should have done research on the company. Go to the websites, research it, what it is. Is that company fit for you or not? Is this company going to uh, take you to uh, that level which you have dreamt of after five years? If you want to become, uh, say, a good uh, content writer, uh, a technical content writer or a non-technical content writer, for example, well, you should know is this the right company or not. It's just not the brand of the company that is going to make you big. It's why you want to go into the company. You have to research, study yourself, and you should be prepared. Is it the right one or not? The attitude. If it is not the right one, you should have the guts to say no to the person who's offering you a job. See, it's all about your courage and attitude that will be defined right across anytime you go for an interview. It's very simple, very, very simple. Because every human being is a salesperson. You're selling yourself to the interviewer whenever you want a, want a job. So people say, you know, I'm not a salesman, but no, we all are selling ourselves. So you should just be very confident about yourself. My question when you joined the Navy was this, what will you do if, I, if you don't get this job? I said, this is not the last job in the world. I've got thousand better opportunities outside. 
Why should I join this? They are not even able to identify who I am. How selective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. So, in future, how would you like to get associated with MBA? Well, uh, I would. Uh, I don't hire MBAs. I don't hire IITs. I don't hire IIMs. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's big drawback if it is <laughs> NDIM. But yeah, we have a very stringent process of hiring people. How we do it is uh, only freshers are the ones whom we give internship for three months. Mm -hmm. And if they fit the bill after 90 days or 100 days, we hire. And uh, in the last three years, uh, we have uh, hired 16 people and only two have left. People come to us, they just don't leave because we give them freedom of choice. Thank you, sir.